DRS. Time to check in with Scott Crothers and Stephen Nicholas. Scott Crothers, good morning. Uh, good morning, McGraw. All right. Yesterday, we were um, up again, weren't we? Another good day yesterday. The Dow was up 39 points, close to 22,158. Uh, technology sold off, but energy was strong in light of a, a light day of trading. Uh, Centene jumped 8% and closed above 98, a new record high after the big buy in New York. The, the yield on the 10-year U.S. Treasury rose to 2.19%. So, there you go. All, all good day. All right, let's get some uh, news, and let's start with Bain Capital. What are we hearing from them? Right. A, a consortium led by Bain Capital, and including Apple and Dell, signed a non-binding agreement to buy Toshiba's chip business. Mm. The deal is expected to close by the end of the month and be for about $19 billion. Apple and Dell are looking to make sure they have a good supply of manned flash memory chips. Several other bidding for, for the business. So this could be an interesting story to watch. Yeah, really interesting story to watch. Um, all right. Uh, what's, what's China doing? Yeah, this is kind of crazy. China is preparing to issue $2 billion worth of U.S. dollars denominated bonds. Uh, this will be their first U.S. dollar bond offering since 2004 and their biggest issue in U.S. dollars. China currently has $200 million of U.S. dollar bonds outstanding. The new bonds are expected to be a half percent bigger than the U.S. counterparts. So, for instance, if our 10-year uh, U.S. Treasury is paying 2.2%, their 10-year will pay about 2.7%. So you'll get about a half percent by buying the China government bonds. So if you buy China government bonds, you can buy them in U.S. dollars? Is that what's... That's, that's what they're issuing some bonds right now in U.S. dollars, yes. Hmm, that's interesting. Um, and then what about the world's largest money market fund? I'm afraid to ask. Yeah, I know. Uh, the world's largest money market fund was formed four years ago and was part of Alibaba's spinoff. It is called U Bao, or Hidden Treasure. It has 370 million accounts and 211 billion dollars in assets. That is twice as big as its closest competitor. It also accounts for one quarter of all China's money market funds. It is almost entirely mobile, and co consumers seem to love the fund. So. Hmm. All right. And then uh, today, what are they thinking on Wall Street? Uh, today, the Dow looks flat. We get a look at Consumer Price Index, or CPI. Uh, this is for August and is before the hurricanes. The market is focused on inflation. Hopefully, we can get some resolution today. All right, Scott, have a good day. Thanks for checking in. Good stuff, as always. All right, thanks. 642 here at Big 550.